Bootes is an important constellation in the skies of early summer. Along with having a number of great targets itself, this constellation is also a useful jumping off point for other fascinating objects. This video will show you how to recognize Bootes and find it easily, and we'll look at some of the double stars in this constellation. They're all interesting and beautiful, but one's easy, one's challenging, and one has quite a twist. This is Touring the Night Sky with Zachary Singer. The outline of Bootes is supposed to represent a herdsman, but you'll spot it much more easily if you imagine it as a giant kite instead. It even has tails here. The bright yellow star Arcturus is the key. Once you find this star, the rest of Bootes is easily found in a dark country sky. To get here, first look for the Big Dipper. In early summer, it's high in the northwest around 10.30 p.m. Once you've got the Dipper, follow the curve of its handle away from the bowl and keep going until you hit yellow Arcturus. It's about the same distance from the end of the handle as the size of the Dipper itself. Arcturus isn't just the key to finding Bootes, it's also a landmark for finding Virgo to the south and the constellation Coma Berenices to the west, so this easy trick for finding Arcturus is sure to come in handy. Remember though that as the night progresses, the Dipper will rotate around the northern sky, so that by the wee hours its orientation will be quite different. I should mention that although Arcturus is easy to see even under urban light pollution, much of the rest of Bootes fades out under city lights. Don't make yourself crazy looking for something you can't see in the city. Okay, now that we can find Arcturus and the rest of the Bootes kite, let's take a look at what's here. Unlike some constellations, including the just mentioned Coma Berenices, there aren't many deep sky objects like galaxies or star clusters in Bootes. But the constellation does have a lot of binary and multiple star systems. These are star systems where two or more stars are actually in orbit around each other. The ones we'll be looking at can be seen as doubles or triples in a telescope. First up then, Izar, also known as Epsilon Bootis. Like Arcturus, Izar is bright enough to be seen under all but the worst light pollution, making it an easy target. It's just the next bright star up the east side of the kite from Arcturus. The big attraction for most observers is that Izar is both beautiful and challenging to observe in a telescope. The main star is an orange giant, like Aldebaran, the brightest star in Taurus. These stars are huge and powerful. If stars were cars, then most would be like minivans or SUVs, and normal orange stars would be subcompact econo boxes. Compared to these, the orange giants are like 18-wheeler trucks. They really stand out. The giant's companion star looks much dimmer in comparison, but it's actually almost 30 times brighter than our sun. Seen alone, this star would appear bright white, but because of its contrast with the orange main star, observers usually see a bright orange and blue-green pair. The challenging part is that the two stars are so close together that the glare from the orange star hides its companion. You'll need a steady sky and high power to see this duo. It's a sneaky one, though. I've seen it in small telescopes without much trouble, and yet on other nights, even a large 12-inch telescope won't do the job. Be patient and come back to this one if you don't see the companion at first. On a good night, this duo is a real sparkler. One last thought about Izar. As close together as the two components appear to be, they're actually about 180 times farther from each other than the Earth is from the Sun. Imagine how puny our solar system would look in comparison. Our next star is Delta Boo, which as you can see is just up the kite figure from Izar. Unlike Izar though, Delta is a very easy target and great for beginners. It's easy to find too. Notice how it lies along the same line from Arcturus to Izar at about double Izar's distance. The primary is another giant star, but its companion is quite sun-like. Ironically, this companion is much easier to see than its counterpart at Izar, even though it's actually dimmer. That's because Delta's companion star sits considerably farther away from the primary star, roughly 20 times farther than Izar's companion does, or nearly 4,000 times Earth's distance from the Sun. Because of this separation, the companion appears widely spaced from the primary in a telescope, so the primary's glare doesn't keep you from seeing the companion star. In a telescope, the primary appears wheat-colored, and the secondary looks purplish, blue, 
or at high magnification, white. If you do look at delta with a telescope, try the lowest power you've got to see more color. Finally, continuing just a little farther up the kite, we find Alcolorops or Mu Bootis, a triple star system. The primary is a fairly common type of star, about 20 times more luminous than our sun. It appears moderately bright and cream-colored in a telescope. The twist is in its companion. At first glance, the companion looks like a single star, but crank the magnification up and you'll soon see that the companion is also made of two stars very close together. Astronomers determined long ago that these are binary too. They're orbiting each other, in other words, and in turn, they are together orbiting around the primary. If you get a chance to look at Alcolorops through a telescope, keep in mind that this very tight pair is about a third farther from each other than Pluto's distance to our Sun, and the distance from the pair to the main star is roughly 75 times greater. If the sky is choppy, you might not be able to split the companion, but the view is beautiful regardless, and for us, there will always be a next time to try again. A close pair takes more than 250 years to complete an orbit, and they need more than a thousand centuries to go around the main star. I think you'll have time for a second try. There are actually many other fascinating double stars in Bootes who've only scratched the surface, but I hope that this video helps you find this part of the sky and that you'll visit here often, in your mind, if not with a telescope. Clear skies, my friends.